Hello everyone, I am Tanu Choon and will welcome you all to the next episode of question discussion series of the Academy. Today we are going to discuss a question of GATE 2022 mathematics examination. This is a question of ring theory. In this question, we have given a ring of polynomials with real coefficients and an ideal generated by a polynomial of degree 4, that is x raised to the power 4 plus 4. So if px is our polynomial with x raised to the power 4 plus 4, we see in reals, any polynomial with degree greater than 2 is reducible. So we can reduce this polynomial. Also, we can see that this is equals to x square minus 2x plus 2 into x square plus 2x plus 2. So we have reduced this polynomial into the product of two irreducible polynomials. Now, this polynomial is reducible. So the ideal generated by this polynomial in Rx is never maximal. This implies x raised to the power 4 plus 4. The ideal generated by this polynomial is not maximal. And we have a result that for any ring R, R by I, the question ring R by I is filled if and only if the ideal I is maximal. But here, this is not a maximal ideal. This implies the question ring Rx by x raised to the power 4 plus 4 is not filled. So, the first option states that the, the question ring generated by this polynomial is a field, but this is not true. So, option A is incorrect. Next, we need to find out whether this is an integral domain or not. We see if it is. it will be an integral domain if it will be free from zero divisors. Now, we need to check out whether it has zero divisors or not. We do have one thing. We have the ring of polynomials Rx, x square plus 4. And this polynomial is reducible, so we can write it as Rx by x square minus 2x plus 2 and x square plus 2x plus 2. Now, if we see, let fx equals to x square minus 2x plus 2. Now, this is an irreducible polynomial in Rx. This is irreducible. This implies the ideal generated by this polynomial will be maximal. This implies the ideal generated by this polynomial x square minus 2x plus 2 is maximal. So, when we have a very important result in ring theory that is Chinese remainder theorem of ring theory which states that if we have to a pair of co-maximal ideals i and j then if i and j are co-maximal ideals co-maximal ideals of ring are of ring R, then the ideal generated by i j, this R by i j is isomorphic to R by i cross R by j. This is a very useful result in ring theory and we will be using this result here. So, we this ideal is maximal. So, any ideal along with this will form a pair of co-maximal ideals. This implies now we have a pair of co-maximal ideals which is x square minus 2x plus 2 and x square plus 2x plus 2. So, by using this theorem, we will get that Rx by x square plus 4, x raised to the power 4 plus 4 is isomorphic to Rx by the ideal generated by x square minus 2x plus 2 and direct product with the ring question ring rx by x square minus 2x plus 2 plus 2x plus 2 
as they both are co-maximal ideals and we see that this is a polynomial of degree 2 in R and this is irreducible implies it has complex roots. So this ring will be isomorphic to R i. So and R i is nothing but the ring of complex numbers which is C. So the question ring generated by this ideal is nothing but direct product of C with C. Now we see that direct product of two rings cannot be an integral domain because if 0 is the 0 element of ring C, then these two elements are non-zero elements of our ring C cross C, but their product gives us 0 elements. So the ring C cross C has non-zero zero divisors, therefore the ring the question ring Rx by the ideal generated by x raised to the power 4 plus 4 will have non zero zero divisors. That means Rx by x raised to the power 4 plus 4 is not an ID. Not an ID, which implies our option B is also incorrect. Now, other options are, our option C states that it is not an integral domain, but it has 0 as the only nilpotent element and option D states that it is the ring which contains non-zero nilpotent elements. We see our Rx by x raised to the power 4 plus 4 was isomorphic to c cross c. So, all of their properties are same. So we will try to count the set of nilpotent elements of c cross c. Whenever we have ring, if R1 and R2, two rings, say, if R1 and R2 are two rings, any rings, then the set of the nilpotent the set of nilpotent elements of the product that is n r1 cross r2 will be equals to n r1 cross n r2 this set along with the union Set which contains elements of this type a comma zero such that a belongs to set of nilpotent elements of ring R one and of elements zero b kind such that b belongs to nilpotent elements of ring R two. So nilpotent elements of the product of rings will be a set defined by these three the union of these three sets. Now for our ring C cross C, we see C is a field, so 0 is the only nilpotent element of this ring. It has no non zero nilpotent elements. So, this union for ring C, this union will be nothing but equals to singleton 0, 0. So, our ring Rx by x raised to the power 4 plus 4 has only one nilpotent element that is 0 element. This implies it has no non zero nilpotent elements which implies our option C is correct and option D is incorrect. So this was a single correct question and out of these four options only option C is correct. I hope you have understood the question. Thank you so much for watching the video. For any queries you can comment in the comment section of the video. Thank you.